The County Council's network is our network. It is the only organisation in local government dedicated for standing up for the unique interests of the 37 county authorities in the County Council network. Over the past few years, CCN has evolved into an influential organisation, one which is listened to by ministers and one which actively shapes government policy. CCN has a proud track record of showcasing the very best in the county world. We will continue to advocate intelligent policies rooted in the political and economic realities of the day, offer support to you when needed, and most of all, CCN will continue to deliver for you. County Council Network is really important with regard to public health because what we can do is to highlight some of the discrepancies that there are, that exist. The County Council's network is a member-led cross-party organisation that's become very effective in recent years in developing policy and advocating for the county areas with government. As the leader of the opposition on a local authority, I find that the conference gives me an opportunity to network with other people in the similar positions, uh, to learn about innovative ideas that are going on in other local authorities, and to just generally feel part of a movement. The County Council Network is a strong voice for county councils on all things related to adult social care, and it always presents clear evidence of the demographics and the funding challenges we face. Just look at the groundbreaking County Care Markets report which helped secure an extra £2 billion in March. CCN is a national platform to showcase the best in the county unitary world where we can be seen to be working with residents in our smallest communities at a very local level or at a county-wide strategic level. With Brexit so much dominating the national agenda, now more than ever CCN needs to ensure that the voice of local government is heard, whether it's on solutions in delivering adult social care, the continuing issues around children's services, or devolution. The road ahead for counties is rocky. Financial pressures are self-evident, but the political landscape of today is ripe in opportunity for the tomorrow. As England's largest councils, counties stand ready to deliver solutions on the key issues facing the country. Counties can concentrate on making our communities be the best they can be whilst government negotiates Brexit. They can help deliver a reformed social care system fit for purpose in the 21st century. They can ensure that local economies are thriving and our residents have the skills, housing and infrastructure to take advantage of the opportunities we create. Counties have the ambition, expertise and local knowledge to do all this and more. But to fully realise their potential, counties need government to trust and empower them in a genuinely new relationship. We are the leanest part of the public sector, delivering extraordinary efficiencies whilst protecting the front line, but the well is beginning to run dry. Counties are the lowest funded local authorities. This means we have less money for social care, for children's services, for schools and for roads. It means our residents are paying more in their council tax for less. This is unfair, outdated and damaging. We know we have a compelling argument for change. We must now press this strongly. Nothing would symbolise a new deal for counties more than a fairer share of national resources. Local government is in a state of flux. Full business rate legislation is off the parliamentary calendar. Our research for CCN showed that 100% retention, whilst well intentioned, could present real issues for county authorities which must be addressed. Counties are some of the largest councils with complex and differing economies. They must be trusted to work closely with government to create a system that fully funds county areas based on their need. In this period of reflection, we will continue to work with CCN to create workable solutions to these complex questions. There is now clear and compelling evidence that counties are the cornerstone of the English economy. They deliver 41% of England's GBA and contain almost half of the nation's jobs. In ordinary times, counties are crucial. In these extraordinary times, their importance has increased. The government needs the economy to be firing on all cylinders as we leave the EU. CCN is successfully challenging narratives that argue the cities are the prime growth drivers but our hands are tied and this is hampering UK PLC. Our lower than average productivity rates, rising house prices and skill shortages must be addressed if we are to create a prosperous country. 
empowering county economies will go a long way to offsetting any impact of Brexit. It's vital for all of us that we improve the performance of the UK economy. The government's industrial strategy is meant to address this. But for it to work, the strategy must address the challenges of all parts of the country. Our research at Oxford Economics shows that England's counties are key players. They're strong in manufacturing and exporting, as well as services. And over the past decade, they've performed at least as well as other parts of the country. But they need the right tools and powers to do the job. If the government's industrial strategy is to work, it needs to take counties fully into consideration. County's ambition for devolution still burns brightly. The 26 million county residents want powers driven down to our communities and many county leaders were delighted that the government has dropped its mayoral requirement. Our message to government is simple, be brave and adventurous and we will reward you. Devolving major financial powers and services to counties could boost our national growth to 2.6% per year, significantly higher than current projections. It could potentially deliver £36 billion in public sector savings, grow our local economies and support the creation of over 1 million jobs. With a mayoral stumbling block removed, the economic case is irrefutable. Government must grasp this opportunity. County councils face huge political, economic and social challenges. Local government is the space and is the platform that can make the difference to resolving these issues. But in counties, progress has stalled. Our report illustrates the resolution and the way forward. Now this will need new forms of local government, but the current county authorities are the building blocks, with new governing authorities led by the county taking the strategic decisions. We also now argue for streaming two-tier areas into unitaries that can deliver significant savings and radical reform to public services. Now is the time, finally, for counties to follow the big cities, to be ambitious, radical, to raise themselves above the parapet and deliver the growth, energy and transformation that we and they need to do the job. It is time for change. The outlook is bleak. A funding gap amounting to many billions of pounds is building up for rural services. Demographic pressures are increasing. Our huge potential is wasted without the powers to enable us to take control of our own economic destiny. But it doesn't have to be this way. We need a new relationship between central and local government with collaboration at the heart of this. We need a new deal for counties.